another map. Sister! Javad said the bristlebacks were first spotted west of the quarry. I should see if there's anything in the back of the valley. The west is a dangerous place, Red. The bristle back by the films. Go check it out. It looks like it died on impact. Maybe it charged off the cliff up there. I better keep following the trail up.
shake off this wet. shards from your pockets next time. in charge here. First, I could resupply at my stash. Might be worth taking a look around, too. That's a meeting of more out the dog. Is that the savior of Meridian? Can we have a word? Ah, savior. <laughs> Tell me, are you seeking passage into no man's land by any chance? Maybe. Why do you ask? Ah, well, to hammer it plain, there's treasure out west. Unclaimed scrap and ancient metal. And I've got a sturdy band of salvagers that knows the lay of the land. 
You're not afraid of the Tanakh? <laughs> Terrified. But I carry out most of my business in no man's land. A neutral territory and all that. Baron Light is our port of entry. When its doors aren't closed for an embassy... <laughs> I was hoping your arrival meant they might be opening soon. I've got a business to run, after all. I want that embassy to happen as much as you do. Believe me, I'm working on it. <laughs> Good to know. And uh, keep us in mind. If you do manage to open the way, our main camp will be just past Baron Light. We'll buy any scrap you've got on you. And if you're looking for machine parts, we've got the best in the West. Guaranteed. All right. Maybe later then. Uh, if you can get those blasted gates open. <laughs> I guess I'm not the only one who wants to get those gates open. Missy! What? Where's Erend? It looks like he's had a few. You're in a sour mood? That broken ribs will do that to you. Right. <laughs> Because that's what pissed in your forge. <laughs> Gentlemen. That's our cue. You taking the edge off? Huh. Well, I mean, I'd ask you to join, but... Who'd be left to save the world, right? <clears throat> All right, now let me guess. You're in a rush, right? So, uh, whatever you need. Ask away. How have things been since I... Your silent departure? <laughs> yeah, not bad. Vanguard's going strong. Helped Avad pick up the pieces after the battle with the Eclipse. And I took a month to bury Ursa in the claim. But when I got back, I got the assignment to babysit Vadis on his way to the embassy. I thought that'd be a cakewalk, so of course things went sideways. You got blindsided. It wasn't your fault. <laughs> a couple more of these, maybe I'll believe you. I was, um, wondering if you were able to lay Ursa to rest, like you wanted. Uh, yeah, yeah, we did. Just seen the crowd that showed up to pay their respects. Half of them owed her a favor, and the other half. Yeah, they half order of their lives. In the end, everybody drank. You know, that is the rowdiest funeral since, uh, what, since ever. <laughs> Feels like she would have liked that. Yeah, damn straight. Damn straight. <laughs> she would have put them all under the table. the embassy I know not much only that Avad really wants it to happen he said I'm making peace with these Tanakh but from what I hear they're not too big on the whole diplomacy thing they do most of their talking with blades and arrows so if you're heading their way be prepared things might get ugly real fast I'll keep that in mind <clears throat> what do you know about this place well, nothing good. It's where the cards had dragged all the captives they took from the Forbidden West during the Red Raids. Lucky ones became slave labor. The rest were hauled off to the Sun Ring and Meridian. Your sacrifice. You got it. Tanakh made sure to wreck the place before they chased the cards out of the West. I can't say I blame them. And now Avad's paying the Osram to rebuild it. No matter how much new stone they put up. It'll still be stained in blood. I, um... I better get going. Oh, uh, yeah, don't let me stop you. Just, uh, Are you sure about this? Yeah, I'm... Saving the world, that's... That sounds like a lot for just one... Errand. Yeah, all right. 
Can't blame me for trying. I, I guess what I'm really trying to say is, if you ever do need me... I know where to find you. Hopefully sober next time. Yeah, don't count me. Be careful out there, Aloy. Savior, you're my last hope. Conover, she's Meridian's savior, not yours. It's just Aloy. What do you want? Please, no one will listen. But the Eclipse, they're here in the daunt. Really, Conover? Aloy's the one that defeated them. You're bothering her with this hogwash now? Some of them must have fled west after the battle at the Alight. I saw one of our sentries, Lorovic, sneaking off to meet with one. I tried to eavesdrop, but they spotted me. And then Lorovic tried to kill me. I... fought back. It was him or me. Unfortunately, there's no hard evidence that connects Lorovic to the Eclipse. And since Conover doesn't deny killing his fellow soldier, Nozar sentenced him to death. What makes you so sure Lorovic was working with the Eclipse? Well, I was too far to hear everything. But I heard them both say the word. Eclipse. It's not the most outlandish claim I've heard, but it's up there. Crying Eclipse is a convenient way to dodge a death sentence. If I have to die, so be it. But if we ignore this threat, others are going to die too. Tell me exactly what happened. Weeks ago, during a shift change, some trespassers slipped through the gate. By the time anyone noticed, they were halfway out the canyon. Nozar didn't see the need to give chase. Let the Tanakhs take care of them, he said. Nozar's not one to be sidetracked. He tightened up the patrol schedules, reprimanded the sentries, and everyone moved on. But I couldn't stop thinking about it. None of us are careless out here, meaning someone left it open on purpose. And Larovic, well, he's always grumbling about officers. But on this, he was too quiet. And after the incident, he started acting different, jumpy. So when I spotted him sneaking out of the barracks after hours, I followed. I found him arguing with a stranger. And when Larovic mentioned the Eclipse, I, I tried getting closer, but they hurt me. The stranger took off, and Larovic lunged at me with his knife. Instincts took over. Sentries heard the scuffle and found me standing over his body. Why don't you believe him? We combed the woods, searched Larovic's bunk, searched it again, didn't find anything. Look, Conover's a good man. I don't believe he murdered Larovic in cold blood. But Nazar only listens to facts. And that fact is, Conover killed his fellow sentry. He doesn't deny it, right? No, but more eclipses are out there. And considering there's no evidence backing up this eclipse story, well, we can't question a dead man. Nozar's on edge with the upcoming embassy, and doesn't want distractions. But hey, if you find a bunch of Eclipse soldiers hatching an evil plot in the woods, please do let us know. The meeting you witnessed. Did you hear anything else about their plans? No. But the clearing where they met is just east of here, across the river. A dozen soldiers have already searched at Conover. There's nothing there. I can see things others can't. If the Eclipse are in the Daunt, I'll find them. Thank you, Aloy. Sun bless your search. Don't get your hopes up, soldier.
Hey. What happened here? What do... what do you care? Don't you? As it happens? No. You know, I was already having a crappy day, and now these... these two... idiots picked my shift to climb the damn mountain. Wouldn't be so bad if this one weren't so heavy. Wait. Two idiots? Did I stutter? Yeah, two. I heard another one shouting up top. Sounds like they got caught between sharp claws and a sharper fall. Someone's in trouble. Uh, aren't you gonna do something? <laughs> Self-inflicted. And I got my hands full with this one. You're seriously not going to help. You seriously are? <sighs> Someone's in trouble at the top of the cliff. I better get to climbing. I have to find a cauldron out here to learn how to override that. Looking up for the hunt.
Are you hurt? I live. My so-called bodyguard. You see him on your way up? It was uh, hard to miss him. He's dead. Oh. Guess that's what I get for believing in the first chuff in the tavern who said he was a, a mountain climbing machine hunter. Oh, at least I don't have to pay him now. What are you doing up here? That used to be a signal tower. The mechanism uses a special lens which, in some very specific circles, is highly valuable. And since the Karja are planning on tearing them down, I was going to... liberate the lens before it got destroyed. You get it for me, and the lens is from the other towers. I'll make it very worth your while. You said that was a signal tower. In its day, it was a sight to see. All six of them all lit up all around the dawns. They used to warn folks that the Tanakhs are coming, for whatever that was worth. As you can imagine, the Karja spared no expense putting them together. Hence, the fancy lenses in need of a new home before the towers are torn down. So, you're a thief. I'm more what you'd call an opportunist with a good eye for business. Look. The Karja are gonna tear all these towers down anyway. They see no value here. They're trying to make nice with the Tanakh now. See? It's a victimless crime. A uh, opportunity. Tell that to your friend down there. <sighs> Self-inflicted. Why can't you do it? Look. Even if I hadn't hurt my ankle here, I'm clearly nowhere near as capable as you. Oh, come on. I, I can't just let the lenses go to waste. That's not what my father would have wanted. Your father, is he a thief? Sorry, opportunist too? No, he helped design the towers. Before he passed on. So that's how you know about the lenses. Yeah. And why they have sentimental value. I already found some, actually. <laughs> well, look at that. Looks like you're quite the opportunist too, eh? Let me take these off your hands, then. This should be a nice reward for your efforts. I'm an honest merchant, after all. Thank you, Aloy. Reyna. Well, Aloy, as soon as I'm up for it, I'll be going back to Baron Light to rest this ankle. But I'll stick around in case you want to get me that lens up this tower here. No pressure. Just saying. Promise it'll be worth it. I'll see what I can do. stash when I need it.
messing up this place. One of the signal devices. Should be a lens I can grab for Reyna. Got the lens. I can... Treat her with Reyna the next time I see her. I can get it from my stash later. No one wants a place. I'll bet you ten shards they don't make. Did you bring me something good? Got what you wanted. Couldn't have done it better myself. Here, for your troubles. You let me know when you find more of these.
Barney's butterfly flesh. It will let them carry 20 thousand Did you find any lenses? I'm working on it. Fair enough. But remember, the pet is mine. Come on then! No one's up for a game of strike? You here to play? Here we go. Your time to shine, friend. Okay, I can do this. One down. That's my cue. Off the board you go, buddy.
Time for me to step up. It's all you. Well, looks like my strategy backfired. And there it goes. My turn. I win. Now that was a good game. Good luck. Your time to shine, friend. That's my cue. Machine down. One down. I wish I'd thought that through. Hmm. Gotta think this through. What'll it be? Okay, I can do this. Your turn. There it goes. My turn.
machine down. Off the board you go, buddy. Have a winner. Ah, that was fun. I'll be here if you feel like playing some more. I've got boards ready to go if anyone wants to play some strike. Friend from the Nora. Come Let's play some machine strike. No one wants to play some strike? How can I remember? May you have a competent... There's Erend. That looks like he's had a few. Enough? 